Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. I am so excited to share these cookies with you. They have a crisp ribbon of meringue and a soft crumbly center. They are dangerously delicious. We start by getting excited. <laughs> then in the bowl of a stand mixer, combine 16 tablespoons of unsalted softened butter. Next, you'll add three room temperature egg yolks so we'll quickly separate the eggs and keep the whites for later. You'll need that to make the meringue. Now add half a cup of sour cream and mix with the paddle attachment on medium low speed just until combined. It won't be smooth and that's okay. You'll need a total of two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Start by adding two cups to the mixing bowl. Mix on medium low speed until the dough forms and add that last half cup just until the dough no longer sticks to your fingertips. I usually use the full half cup. Alright, that is exactly the consistency we're looking for. Transfer the dough out onto a well-floured surface and divide it into four equal pieces. While I'm working with the cookie dough, I like to get the meringue started. So in the clean bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment, add your three room temperature egg whites. Beat those together on high speed for one minute or until they're thick and foamy. With the mixer on, slowly and gradually add 3 fourths cup of granulated sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating on high speed for 5 minutes, scraping down the bowl as needed. This is also a great time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, while that's going, dust your work surface with flour, then take one of your 4 pieces of cookie dough and roll it into a log. Now cut that log into 15 equal pieces. Roll each piece between your hands into a ball. Then using a rolling pin, flatten them out to about two inches in diameter. All right, and the meringue is finishing up right now. You know it's ready when you pull up on the whisk and you see a stiff peak on your meringue. Just like that. Now place a teaspoon of your meringue into the center of each dough round. Fold it in half and fold it in half again. No need to pinch or seal these cookies. When they're done, place them on their side on a parchment lined cookie sheet, keeping them about half an inch apart. Now you'll need a cup and a half of walnut pieces. Push two or three pieces of walnut into the meringue of every cookie. And it's so easy to make these nut free if you need to, just leave out the nuts. Now bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the center of your oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Oh my goodness, my kitchen smells good. <laughs> <laughs> like holiday baking. So once they're out of the oven, you wanna transfer them to a wire rack so they'll cool faster because you want these to be completely room temperature before you dust them with powdered sugar. All right, these have been sitting and they're now room temperature, which means we get to do the taste test. <laughs> so we're gonna add some powdered sugar and add as little or as much as you like. Remember the actual cookie has no sugar in it, so the powdered sugar just completes these. And these complete me. <laughs> and each one of these is unique because they are handcrafted and they just look so beautiful on the Christmas cookie platters. Uh, I got this recipe from a gal named Tanya. She's a friend from church and she's known for these cookies. They are scrumptious. All right, here we go. Get the one with the most powdered sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The inside is soft and crumbly and buttery. And then it's got that lace of crispy meringue. It's kind of like a shell. I mean, they're called shell cookies because this, they've got that little treasure inside of the walnut. <laughs> These are darling and delicious.
Hope you guys love this recipe. If you did, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you later. If you're looking for more holiday worthy desserts, check these out right over there and click below to subscribe. Thanks guys.